Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to grade a student's assignment actually using a rubric that you've already created. If you haven't yet created a rubric and added it to your assignment, please watch my previous video that shows how to do that. Um, so this assignment, this is the narrative essay, and this is my student's submission. To get to the rubric, I very simply click on View Rubric. Now, an important little trick I want to show you is how to make this a little bit more visible and easy to grade. Uh, if you grab these three dots here on the gray line, it lets you slide this out so you can actually see the whole rubric on the same screen as your student's document. And this will make it a lot easier to see um, what you're grading. Uh, if you need to, you can click on View Longer Description for any of these. This, is, this would be the longer description that you added with the uh, more detailed criteria um, if you need to remind yourself about the criteria that you already set. And basically what you do is you go through and you just, you know, read the student's essay and then decide how many points it gets for each of these sections that you created. Okay, and then you can, I'm just making stuff up here. Okay, this is a pretty big rubric. Um, there we go. Let's say I did that. And I can preview here that these points makes it so my student has an 87% out of 100. You know, if that seems right, I can just click Save, or if I want to think about it a little more and see if you want to add subtract points somewhere before you hit Save, you can do that and look back through. I'm just going to save that. Okay. And then the student will see that grade and they will be able to see the points they got on the rubric. This is good for the student because they can see very clearly where they lost points or what they need to work on and what their strengths are. And then optionally, just as always, you can add some comments if you want to write more specific details to your students and click Submit. 